What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. We're actually beginning boost to the top for this season, maybe this time I'll actually play consistently enough to call it a series. Uh, but yeah, basically the Series 8 rules are now up if you guys want to try them out, you can play them on ranked now. No more practicing on casual battle ladder, but before we get into it, do me a favor guys, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, and answer my comment question of the day. What restricted are you using on your first team today? Let me know in the comment section, and yeah. Also, I'm going to be going live today at 5pm CST on Twitch. If you guys want to follow me there, I'll be doing some laddering, probably to Master Ball. And yeah, let's get into it. Today I'll be using the only team I have ready in game, which is the uh, Zamazenta Lapras team. And I just want to say something. I just want to say something, right? So on Twitter, like the day the rules dropped, I said it will take three weeks for people to realize that Lapras is goaded in this uh, format. And then the first, uh, what was it the first UX9 tournament came out, and the results were there were a lot of Lapras players. Lapras-ation in particular, but I, I can probably stick with Lapras uh, Zamazenta here. Hopefully we don't fix too much Lapras-ation, because I think that might be slightly a losing matchup. But yeah, let's get into it. Whew. I'm excited. Um, every time I've played on Showdown, I've just like lost interest. I like playing in like in game more, right? I, I prefer playing in game when I'm testing out something crazy. Like I'll play on on Showdown, but for now, I, I just very much enjoy playing in game. So hopefully, we can find some matches. Um, I'm not incredibly comfortable with this team. I want to switch over to another team I have uh, in the <laughs> I have waiting in the back, uh, but that team isn't ready in game. Also, I'm still hunting for the Zero Speed Necrozma. It's taken me quite a while, uh, but I think I'm getting close, right? I, I, I feel like I'm above odds at this point. I have no idea how long it should have taken me to get a Zero Speed Necrozma, but hopefully I can get it soon. And it is taking a minute to find an opposing trainer. I wonder why. Hopefully we can find one soon. Like, it's day one of the ladder being up. <laughs> Granted, it did reset last night at like 10 p.m., but it's day one, technically. No one? I, I guess I can just cut to when we get a battle. Oh, no. Okay, immediately. <laughs> I was going to be like, wow, I don't know why I'm not getting one. We're, uh, as we're facing Cody rank 9. And they're using Zacian with... Ooh, Zacian, Rillaboom, Milotic. That's kind of cool. Um, they have a couple of dark types. They definitely don't like Zamazenta whatsoever. They have zero fighting type resists. Everything on this... Or I guess... um. Well, yeah, if it's Zacian Crown, they have zero fighting type resist. So I think what I want to do here is I feel pretty comfortable leading off with Whimsicott Lapras to get my early screens up. Uh, Zamazenta in the back, and I'm kind of scared to bring the Arcanine, to be honest, but I think I can't afford not to. I don't think I can afford to ignore it. I think I'm going to bring the Arcanine. That's the scary part about this team. I also, I think I really should have switched to uh, Figgy Berry Arcanine because safety goggles... It has not been nearly as useful as I expected. I meant to switch to Figgy Berry Arcanine, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully I don't lose every single match um, the first time playing on Series 8, but I can just only do my best. I can only do my best. Regardless of if I do absolutely garbage in today's video, uh, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but tonight we'll be practicing on the ladder on, on stream so I can get a lot more games and just get into my stride when it comes to playing this. Okay. As lead off, Incineroar Tyranitar. I actually really like this lead. I really like this lead. Like, I am somewhat concerned about, um, like, a fake out on my Whimsicata and stuff, but I feel comfortable trying to one-shot the Incineroar as long as it's not, as long as it's not, um, faster than me, which it shouldn't be. I'm max speed. As long as it's not faster than me and as long as it's not Assault Vest, I should probably be able to one-shot it with... Life Orb, Max Geyser. I'll get in my Arcanine here for an Intimidate. And I should be able to Max Geyser. I need to PP Max this thing so bad. It's so annoying that I, that I haven't PP Maxed. Uh, the reason I'm switching out here is because I don't want to get faked out. And regardless of if I avoid the fake out, the sand will make it so I lose my Focus Sash. So overriding that would be pretty nice. And also being able to Intimidate this Arcanine. Or Intimidate with my Arcanine on the Tyranitar to let myself live a possible Max Rockfall or a Rock Slide uh, is going to be really nice. And I hypothetically should outspeed both of these Pokemon, as long as, you know, I don't see a U-turn or anything. Uh, I can actually set up my Aurora Veil next turn. 
Or I can just go for straight up KOs. Either one, really, either one. All right, let's check for Assault Vest. Hopefully not. Hopefully not, because then this is definitely not KOing. I don't even know if it KOs here. Like, it's it's a strong hit, but it's 85 base special attack. Lapras is not too powerful, you know? As they end up Dynamaxing their Tyranitar, I think I'm fine with that, to be honest, since I did get the Intimidate off. Um, they may have doubled into the Arcanine, considering there was a Whimscot there at some point, but... Um, this isn't the end of the world. I can definitely take a hit here, and the opportunity to burn it is going to be really nice. As they do go for the fake out on the Whimsicott, trying to break a Sash. And I get my Max Geyser off. Let's see if this is enough. As it is. Awesome. Awesome. All right, yeah. So, probably not a Salt Vest there. We do get rid of the Sand, but I'm pretty certain they're going to go for a Rockfall. There's the Rockfall, who's it on? Alright. I mean, we took a solid chunk of damage there, right? But regardless, Lapras survives. As, if, uh, like, if Azatian comes in, I am slightly concerned, but I should be able to burn it pretty easily. I just got a phone call from my girlfriend. I had to mute it, but I'll call her after this match. There is a Milotic on the field. I mean... There's not too much harm in just going for Will-O-Wisp on the Tyranitar and uh, going for my max resonance to help myself live a hit. I'm going to target that into Milotic just for the sake that Milotic isn't able to protect from this. I miss my Will-O-Wisp, unfortunately. I really hate that. That's really annoying. Maybe I can survive a hit now. If I get an extra opportunity to go for that, that's going to be really nice. Got my resonance up. Aurora Veil, nice. Scald onto my Arcanine. Can I survive? Probably. I mean, it's Arcanine. Uh, let's see what they target into with the Max Rockfall. Hopefully it's into the Lapras, because Lapras should be able to take it pretty well now. Awesome. Yeah, as long as they don't crit, I'm good. So, how do I feel about this? I mean, I still have my Zamazenta in the back, and a relatively <laughs> close to full health um, Arcanine. I'll try to Will-O-Wisp once more, and I'll actually go for a Max Lightning here for damage on the Milotic. And with a Life Orb, I should be doing a solid chunk of damage. They Max Guard, that's fine. Let me see if I can KO this thing. Probably not, right? But if I come close, it'll have been worth it. Hey, it's really close. That should be in range of Freeze Dry now, so what I can actually do is um and i'm also avoiding a possible hypnosis i'll actually switch out my arcanine now because i don't want to lose it and on this turn i should be able to go for a freeze dry onto the milotic to secure a ko and ooh, okay that did a lot all right uh i definitely want to keep the <laughs> i definitely want to keep the arcanine around for intimidates and okay yeah I, f I thought maybe it would just barely be in range but this is pretty nice actually this is pretty nice they should probably go for a Behemoth Blade on my... Or no, they should target down Arcanine with, like, Behemoth Blade or Close Combat or whatever. So I need to keep Arcanine around here. But I'm going to outspeed that... I'm going to outspeed that um, Tyranitar with my Arcanine and my Lapras. So what I can do is switch out the Arcanine, right? And I can just sack Whimsicott. Because I want to keep Zamazenta as close to full health as possible. And I don't want to give Tyranitar weakness policy, really. Uh, I think what I'll do here is just go for some damage with... Uh, which is more accurate? Hydro Pump. We'll just go for a Hydro Pump on Zacian. And as long as they properly, you know, use... If, if they go for, like, what I believe to be the proper threat prioritization, they should target down Arcanine with, like, a close combat or a Sacred Sword or something. Alright. Arcanine comes out. Whimsicott goes in. Zacian uses Protect, which I'm fine with. <laughs> he can Rock Slide if he wants, I'll just get a Tailwind off. Now as long as I don't get crit here, 
Tailwind's pretty free. And I can actually Tailwind Will-O-Wisp, and then the game's pretty much mine, as long as I connect on the Zacian. Take some damage. Yeah, because there's no way that that's, that the uh, Tyranitar beats me. At minus two with a, <laughs> with a plus one defense Zamazenta. So my play here is Will-O-Wisp and uh, Tailwind. Or I could even just try to get it in range by going for a Flare Blitz Tailwind. I think my play is just a Flare Blitz Tailwind because I can just close combat it the next turn. We'll do that. Because it'll be in range. There's no point in risking a burn. If I get it in range of um, of close combat, then Zamazenta should be able to win the 2v1. Or actually, Behemoth Bash is neutral. I can pro It's probably within range of Behemoth Bash. Let's see how much this does. Solid. Okay, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's absolutely no way they um, take this hit now. So they go for a Behemoth Blade. A little bit overkill for a Whimsicott, in my opinion. I mean, he's not he's not very big. Whimsicott's down. It's a pretty cool pose, too. Critical hit, too. Dang, you really did not like my Whimsicott. Uh, but I do have a Tailwind up now. As they try to lash out on the uh, Intimidate turn, that, that would have been pretty cool, actually. Getting the Zamazenta. They're within Behemoth Bash range, so I'll just do that. Um, and then I should be able to take out the, like, this, this Tyranitar is at minus two, I'm at plus one. I don't think there's a way they win this without crits. And, uh, I'm not gonna bother really trying to predict and protect on the Zacian. I think they would have to attack here if they wanted to win. So, what I can do is just go for the, the, the Behemoth Bash, kill it, uh, and then I'll be able to pick up a K on the Tyranitar with a close combat. Alright, nice. So this should be a W. I mean, I have to be kind of fearful about, like... I mean, we have seen stuff like Focus Sash Tyranitar in the past, but I feel like in this format, weakness policy is the way. So Behemoth Bash for the KO, and the next turn just close combat, and we are good to go. Superpower as they lower their attack once more, and their defense. They are 100% within range of this hit. Um, I can just Behemoth Bash now. No need to close combat. At minus one, they don't take it. My Roar of Ale will, eh, wears off. Actually, I can just close combat. Why wouldn't I just close combat? It's a quicker animation, and it, you know, it'll definitely KO. I don't know, maybe they have, like, a, a Chapel Berry or something. That would be kind of annoying, but at minus one defense, I still don't think they eat this hit. Yep, they cancel the battle. So, I'll be right back, guys. I have to go make a call. I'll see you guys in a second when I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, I'll cut out that very romantic conversation. Oh, my God, I am, I am such a romantic person. I asked her, um what was wrong and she was like oh yeah she's just getting some work done in her car um and she needed to ride back but i'm good you know i'm good she's good we're good let's get into the battle versus andy rank nine and ooh, we're facing more uh zacian however this looks like a series seven team but with zacian just kind of slapped on because it's like beat up dragapult soak freaking inteleon Ugh, man that's so annoying uh but we can we can just go whimsicott on lead again um, and Zamazenta is super, super threatening to the, uh, it, it's super threatening to the Cobalion because I outspeed. And I can also bring Arcanine in the back and Lapras once more. This is not a Spectre game in any way, shape, or form, so we're going to go with that. Uh, regardless of the lead, I can sort of pivot here, I think. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully I can pivot. I'm always really bad at playing against, uh, these teams with, like, three different options that are really scary, but I think I can do it in this situation. Zacian is just such a cool Pokemon because it ha you have so much wiggle room. You have so much wiggle room to do stuff. Alright, Dauntless Shield goes off. Uh, I mean, they're just going to beat up right? They should just beat up. I can Tailwind here pretty free. And I'm definitely going to be able to eat a hit from the Cobalion. 
I'm very scared about going for close combat because it's just they, they ally switch. They always ally switch on me, man. They always ally switch. And I'm going to outspeed and end up at minus one. I think what I could do here is I'll Tailwind and I'll Behemoth Bash into Dragapult, I think. No. I think I just go for the close combat. Okay, I hate this turn. I hate this turn. Because I'm going to outspeed, right? Uh, and I can hit him before it goes off. Well, I guess I could have gone for the Behemoth Bash and hope that I one-shot, but I'm very... I, I'm very certain I couldn't have one-shot the Dragapult. Tailwind up. They didn't ally switch, which, was, which is nice. Ally switch would have gone first. Um, but I'll get this hit off before they can, like, steal spike or anything. And we do about half, so if my... If my Cobail... Not my Cobailian. If my, um... Zacian or Zamazenta lives this turn, I can KO it next turn. Or, even better, uh, even if it goes down, what I can do is go for Fake Tears and Max Geyser, and that should do it, and then my only concern is Ally Switch. <laughs> my only concern at that point is Ally Switch, which I really, 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 really don't want to play against. Because <laughs> for all I know, they don't have it. See what they go for. Max Knuckle, that's going to be into my boy. We are at neutral defense. Can we eat it? We cannot. Do I call the ally switch? I just, it's just not worth it, is the issue, right? In this situation, you can't. Like, you just can't. I'm going to go Lapras, because I can fake tears and I can knock it out. Guys, I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Guys, um, make a prediction right now. Are they going to ally switch? I'm scared. Fake Tears into Dragapult. Max Geyser into Dragapult. Please ally switch. Please. We are on Great Ball tier. It's Dragapult Cobalion. You're going to ally switch, right? Tell me you're going to ally switch. <laughs> I'm in trouble if they don't, by the way. I'm in big trouble. Something to note is the alley switch will happen before my fake tears, so we'll know right away. I, I, there's no reason it should be a plus two priority move. I, every time I like face alley switch, I go on this long rant, so I'll, I'll keep this one really slow. Don't nerf it in the next generation. Don't make it plus two. Make it plus one, if anything. All right, let's see if I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, maybe I can survive a plus four, or a plus five Cobalion. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. There's a light screen. Can I live? You're Lapras, right? Max Rockfall? Ooh. Probably not. That's so disappointing. Alright. You guys know where I was coming from with that play. Uh, I'll just forfeit here. There's no way I'm winning this anymore. There's no way I'm winning that. Or maybe I can. I mean, it might be within range of Flare Blitz. I'll just play it out. If I crit my Moonblast, my Flare Blitz crits everything from now on, I can win. All right, let's do it. That's so annoying. There's the Intimidate. Okay. Moonblast into the Dragapult. Watch, they're going to do it this time. They're going to do it this time. And I'm going to Flare Blitz into Cobalion. Yep, there it is. Okay, yeah, I knew it. I knew they'd do it that time. So, I mean, I called that they had it, because they always have it on this stupid team. But uh, it's pretty unfortunate that I did not call it on the right turn. 
Hopefully that doesn't just tilt me for the rest of the session. I'm, I'm like very good at getting tilted by ally switch. As we one shot, not one shot, but we uh, managed to knock out that dragon bolt with a crit. Alright, yeah. I'm just going to forfeit here. Reggie Lecky comes out. Yeah, I would have been in a really good spot. <laughs> Reggie Lecky wouldn't have been able to one-shot Lapras. Dang, I'm, I'm disappointed. Run. Just forfeit. I, I can see that this ally switch player is better than me at this game. Alright, hopefully the next one isn't that. Continue battling. And let's get one more. Ow, all my progress gone. <laughs> Sam, rank 9. And we're facing... Ooh, okay. Uh, probably... Assault Vest Cart. There's so many things on this team could be running Sash. That it makes... I'm going to make this prediction. Also, I feel like it's Water Urshifu because they have three Dark Types. But I'm going to say Sash Raichu, AV Kartana, Life Orb Mamoswine, Figgy Berry Incineroar, and Choice Band um, Urshifu with like Weakness Policy. They could be like Ice Shard Weakness Policy with their... Um, with three Veltal. They could also like... They could also be like... Um, Volt Switch weakness policy, so I'm going to watch out for that. Clefairy could be really nice, but I think Zamazenta is just... It just destroys this team. Uh, my last Pokemon, they... I can't not bring Arcanine just because it deals so well with the uh, Kartana. So I've only brought, like, the same couple of Pokemon to this matchup. <laughs> so, I mean, like, that's, that's normal. Like, teams that I build usually have, like, four that come to most matchups, and then alternate modes for particular matchups, so... All right, let's see if uh, we can let's see if we can pull one over on this guy. Yeah, I, I feel like it's gonna be like weakness policy of Eltal because the the assault vest and the focus sash and all these items want to be in other places. Or who knows? I could face Quick Claw. I faced Quick Claw a couple of times, and it's really annoying. <laughs> It's weird. Quick Claw to me feels so inconsistent and so cheesy, but I could also make a case for it on certain Pokemon, so it's almost not. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's very in the middle for me. As they are Water Urshifu. I mean, I wouldn't mind just freeze-drying this thing. But I could also... I'm going to attempt to go for my uh, max resonance on this Raichu, and I'm going to attempt to Tailwind. Like, I, I understand that I'm probably going to get faked out, but I feel like I can't afford to get nuzzled. And if I can knock out this Raichu before it can nuzzle me, that'd be huge. And Raichu being gone is so nice for being able to spam, like, uh, electric moves and stuff. Oh my god, I've never seen Lapras do that animation. That's adorable. Did you see that? She wagged her, her flippers. She did a little flipper wab, or whatever it's called. I don't know. She shook them. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my god. Alright. Big Lapras on the field. Let's see what item this Raichu is. As they don't go for the Tailwind, I'm going to assume they nuzzled then. Get my Resonance off. Not quite a one-shot. Uh, that doesn't look like AV to me. It could be Sash on the Raichu. Oh, they're Berry. What? Okay, interesting. I haven't seen Berry Raichu, like, 
in the history of ever. <laughs> Wiki Berry, interesting. They Volt Switch on me, not going to do too much damage. And a close combat also won't be doing too much. I'm very happy with that first turn. Because they definitely close combat. I'm, I'm very happy with that first turn. There's the Mammoth Swine. Um, that could be the... That could be the Focus Sash user, but... I kind of want to say it's not. I kind of want to say it's going to be the, um... I kind of want to say it's going to be... Oh, no, that's Life Orb? Alright, that's the Focus Sash user then. Okay. Um... I can knock this thing out with Max Lightning, but it's not worth it to Max Lightning. I'll just go for the Moonblast. I can Max Geyser into Mammoth Swine. The reason it's not worth going for the um, Max Lightning into it is because Raichu can come in at any moment. Max Geyser is just so much safer. Moonblast on you. So, so far, we're 0 for 2 on calling items on this team. Life Orb, okay. So, it's definitely going to be within range of Moonblast since I'm Max Special Attack. And this thing is Garbage Special Defense. There's the Protect, I get, um, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Let's see if it's Focus Sash on the Mammoth Swine, then. Kinda hope it's not. <laughs> it is, okay, so we got one item down. <laughs> They've taken so much damage that I feel like they can't come back now, but for all I know, they're just, this is part of their master plan, you know? There's the Ice Go Crash. Whimsicott does hang on, so I feel comfortable just doing the exact same play as last time. They could Aqua Jet me, right? They could Aqua Jet me, but I don't think they will. They could Ice Shard me as well, which is kind of uncomfortable. The fact that they could Ice Shard me makes me want to Max Lightning this turn onto the, uh, onto the boy. And... I can just get an Arcanine here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to preserve the Whimsicott for later on. I feel comfortable Max Lightninging, because they should fear the, um... They should be fearing losing the Urshifu to a Moonblast, if anything. As they withdraw, tell me it isn't Raichu. Ah, dang it, okay. That's unfortunate, but, I mean, everything's really low, anyways. There's Ice Shard. Yeah, I mean, I can just go for another Max Geyser or whatever, even a Freeze Dry if I... Was that my last turn? Yeah, it is my last turn. I mean, it's within range of Freeze Dry, I'm certain. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just Protect here. And, uh... Because I can get Faked out. Actually, regardless of what gets Faked out, I should outspeed whatever. I think I'll Freeze Dry the Mammoth Swine. And, uh, Snarl here. Or maybe I... Maybe I just freeze dry you and snarl here. So I hit both of them. Let's see if a fake out comes out. If a fake out comes out, I'm still gonna KO Mammoth Swine. There's the protect. Raichu goes for fake out. Onto the Arcanine, so they might lose the Raichu. It does do enough. That's great. That's great. And my tailwind did peter out. Glad I kept, or glad I hung on to my um to my whimsicott because that's gonna be really useful in the back. Now, like I said, I want to call weakness policy on the uh, on the Eveltal. and probably ice shard with Mammoth Swine. I could go for a Snarl here to knock out the Mammoth Swine and also go for um, a Hydro Pump. Or not a Hydro Pump, but a Freeze Dry. Does that do more? Stab brings it up to um, 105 times 2. Thunder does the most, so Thunder. And uh, I'll Snarl to mitigate damage in case they decide to KO me. Or KO the, the Lapras. As they do Dynamax, probably going to max Airstream.
And that should outspeed my Lapras. Unless they're weird and they aren't. Yeah, there's the weakness policy. Good news there. Get a Snarl off. And I should be able to Snarl it again. These things are usually special attackers because they want to run Oblivion Wing. Max Airstream. Who's it into? Lapras, I assume. Yep, to mitigate the damage he's going to take. And I should be able to Tailwind Snarl again. Snarl to knock out the Mammoth Swine, lower the damage output from Eveltal. Aurora Veil wears off, which is a little annoying. Um, dang, this is actually kind of bad. Because I can't Tailwind and... Because I'm, I'm within range of the thing. But I need Tailwind. I could just get in Zamazenta here and Snarl again. I'll just double Snarl. Wait, yeah, because I forgot I KO'd the Raichu. They have uh, Urshifu. Aqua Jet would hurt. <laughs> it would hurt quite a bit. How many turns of rain are left? May have lost this. Um, I think my play here is going to be to Snarl. I'm just going to double Snarl, because... When the rain's gone, I might be able to take an Aqua Jet with my Whimsicott. Probably not, but maybe. There's the Airstream on Arcanine. I don't survive, unfortunately. Plus one hurts too much. I'm gonna have to. Have, I'm gonna have to take a close combat here. Oh, Surging Strikes. I mean, that does cut through my defenses. So that makes sense. Plus, it's in the rain, so I'm gonna take quite a bit. But they're also Life Orb. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Snarl goes off. Hmm. Is there any way out? They have to not be Aqua Jet is the thing. But these things like always run Aqua Jet. Rain's gone. So I think here's my out. Um, I have to Behemoth Bash Tailwind. Because that will let me outspeed the Eveltal. I doubt I knock it out, but I have to like crit this, right? And as long as they aren't running Aqua Jet and they target into Zamazenta here, I have a chance to win on a crit. Yep, they have Aqua Jet. That's game. Unfortunately. So two losses, one win. One loss to an ally switch, so we won't really count it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, I definitely could play better here. Uh, had I not made that really poor play on the Raichu switch, and I think I would have been fine, but that's just how it is. First day back on Series 8. Hopefully we can get a little bit better on the live stream tonight. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support lately. We've been growing like crazy. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.